All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about armored vehicles, a little bit about a little bit about our personal security that we offer at Bone Tactical, different levels of personal security, what we can offer, and just about personal security and armored vehicles in general. The different levels of security, obviously, you're going to want to begin with a minimalist look to where nobody really knows that anything's going on. That way, you win 100% of the fights that you don't engage in, okay? So, right, this is our low profile look right here. We've got our van, we can have up to a team of eight guys in the van, completely unmarked, just a regular white van. Then it could be a chase or a lead vehicle. This right here is an armored Land Cruiser Prado. <laughs> Toyotas seem to hold up the best with armoring. As you can see, they've improved the suspension. It's got armored windows, armored cabin, armored engine compartment. This one is level seven armor, AK-47, M16, up to a 30-06 black tip armored piercing. Basically, right now, with this vehicle, you can't tell that I'm working security. You can't tell that anything's out of the ordinary here. I have a laptop bag, which in this area, laptop bags are very common. Like as I'm showing you right now, this is very minimalist. Nobody needs to know that this vehicle's armored. You can tell if you're an expert, if you're looking for it, but most people aren't gonna be able to tell by looking at this vehicle, the majority of the pop population. Most people aren't gonna be able to tell that I'm working security right now. I have my tattoos covered up. I don't have any firearms or any weapons showing. If we were entering and exiting the vehicle and there happened to be an issue, the idea here is you grab and pull, opens up, there's a Velcroed holster on the inside, and then you can retrieve your pistol. Extra magazines are gonna be here. I can pull here, pull here, and I'm ready to go, okay? I have the pistol and a holster in the bag, Velcroed inside here. Okay, it's the holster has some Velcro on the back, the bag has some Velcro, and it's easy to go. There's a little pull strap here, and I don't necessarily need to grab both to pull. I can just grab one and pull, and then go in with the hand. I can have this hand occupied. I can be pushing somebody off here, grab, pull, and be ready to fire from here. So there's a lot of different options with a bag set up like this and it also allows you to stay completely low profile where there's nothing printing. Okay, the other thing is the weapons I have are a bone tactical titanium neck knife here. Less than an ounce. Wear it around my neck like a necklace. The strap doesn't look like paracord. It doesn't look like anything other than a, a, a necklace somebody would normally be wearing. If things escalate more quickly and there's a shooting situation, after the shooting situation's over, while I'm having some downtime to assess, to recover, I'm gonna armor up, okay? I have armor in this bag. Another situation would be if I feel like we're going into a hot zone, I can armor up at that point. If the situation occurs that I have my pistol already, I'm gonna have my pistol in my hand, the, a situation just happened, now it's over, now I'm gonna go for my armor. I'm gonna armor up, okay? I'm gonna obviously drop the bag, I won't need the bag anymore. I'm gonna armor up. Pistol goes in the holster here. and I'm armored up.